Thank you. I'm grateful. <laughs> Hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey. Thanks for coming to watch another YouTube video by me, T. Um, hope all of you are doing great. I have to remember to look into the camera. So, thanks for subscribing to my channel because you should already be subscribed. You should be liking, commenting, sharing with all your friends, even if they're not a hygiene friend. Shout me out, please. Help me grow this channel because I want to get more of you. Um, involved in your dream of being a hygienist or any dental whatever okay so um, you might have seen in you're going to see excuse me in the end the towards the end of this video after this clip um, my experience at the dental Florida dental convention okay um, I feel like it was such a great experience because I was able to meet um, many of the what do you call it exhibitors at their function and looking at all the things that they do for work so I just want to show you what I got in my swag bag that they give out because you know when you go to these things they give you free stuff and you know a girl love a free 99 bag okay with some nice stuff in it so I could have got a lot more stuff but I didn't stay that long um if you don't know, the Florida Dental Convention was three days. It was June 29th, June 30th, and June July 1st. Um, it is an all-day event, so it's from 8 to 6 p.m. Um, most days of those three days. And it's basically like a big hall for you to just walk around, um, meet people who have exhibits for different dental programs, um, dental businesses that either sell products, provide a service for anything dental you can think of, any kind of product you can think of, not just toothpaste and floss, but like every single thing dental related, um, business, uh, hygiene, assisting, dental, dentistry, all of that. So it's a great way to make connections, a great way to network, and I really encourage you to go. Um, most schools do encourage their students to go. So if you're a student or you're thinking about going into the dental program, um, to be a dentist, a hygienist, or an assistant. This is a really great way to just expose yourself. Excuse me, I just got new Invisalign. And it's stressing me out today. Anyway, uh, um, it's just a great way to network, put yourself out there, a great way to um, make connections, look for a new job, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to go through what's inside this bag. And then I'll show you like me walking around the exhibit and like talking to people and stuff like that. Okay, I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, bye. <laughs> As soon as I walked in, I met Nisi. Her and I were talking on Instagram and TikTok. It was so nice to meet you. I love meeting all of you. So if any of you see me out in Orlando, say hi. Nice to meet you, Nisi.
Okay, I zoomed out a little bit so you guys can see. So, um, they gave out three bags. So, this bag is a Coast Dental bag. So, it's like just one of them, like, grocery tote bags. You know, a little cheap bag or whatever. It's cute. Um, and then on the other side, it called, says Super Mouth. So, this was a, actually a hygienist swag bag that they gave out. Um, and I think. And then Coast was one of the sponsors. So, Inside this bag, I have two RDH bags. My sister came with me and she left her bag because she ain't interested in dentistry. So she just kept gave me her bag. So the bag says RDH at FDC and it has the um, Florida Dental Association logo on it. And it says, we're so glad you're here. We love our RDH attendees and hope you continue to return year after year. It says launching dentistry forward and then it has their logo. So that's what it looks like. And then it's just a regular uh, Lion plastic bag. So I can't remember if I took stuff out of this one or if it's the other one I took stuff out of. Um, okay, I think this is, I think I kind of combined the two bags. So I'm gonna show you what I got in here. Um, it's just cute, thank you stuff. So I thought this was mad cute. Um, I got this actually from the, this wasn't in the FDH, RDH FDC bag. This wasn't the RDH um, swag bag. This was actually from Dental Post. So Dental Post is a company that does temping. Um, it was started by a hygienist years ago, like over 10 years ago named Tanya. I can't pronounce her last name, but if you would like to temp or you're looking for a job, um, Dental Post is a really good website to start with. You make a profile, you add your resume on there and stuff like that, your credentials. And yeah, get started. So I connected with them at the convention and it's just a cute little bag. I said I could use this for like, um, not the zipper breaking already. Mm. You know, it's a cute, cute, cute little bag. It's, I'm, I'm not, I'm not pressed, but, um, I thought this was a cute bag to like, you know when you walk in or if you're working out or you're going to do something real quick and it's not like you trying you're not trying to be fancy it's more like a hiking bag it could go around your waist like cute i would just use this for the gym because i'm tired of carrying like all my stuff in my hand 
or one of my really nice bags to the gym. So that's that. Um, then they gave us a sample of Crest Detoxify Toothpaste. Can you see? The, I can't, it's not focusing. Anyway, um, so they gave us a sample, travel size sample of the Gum Detoxify Toothpaste. I really like this toothpaste in general. I don't really have gum or uh, cavity issues, but I like it. Um, that actually was inside the bag. These are like some cheap, like little cute, it's all cheap stuff. I'm gonna be very honest with you. It's nothing crazy fancy. Um, I went to the dental dynamic staffing booth because I do work with them sometimes when I temp. Um, and she was so excited to see me when I told her I was an influencer. You'll see clips of that and I'll do like a voiceover over that or whatever. But she gave me like a tape me measure with their um, logo on it. I was just like, okay sis, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But, because I have plenty of tape measures at home, but thank you. I'm grateful. <laughs> um, and then they gave the RDH people, RDH, this is from the RDH bag. Um, this is one of those like little rubber um, bracelets and it says, it's so cute. It has a tooth and the tooth is like glittery and then it has words across it and it's pink and it says coffee scrubs and nitrile gloves. Okay, I don't wear these but this is so cute. I was, I was happy to get that. And then they gave us a sample uh, bamboo toothbrush. I think this was from, yeah, this was in the RDH bag. And this is actually from a dentist who's promoting himself who makes this. Um, his name is Dr. John Smith. Dr. Smith has a website on there. But yeah, I thought that was cute. I'll open it so you can see it. But yeah, it's literally just a wooden toothbrush with um, like ni nylon um, bristles. So thought that was cute. I'm going to use this for travel probably because I'm going back to New York again next week. This Temp Me is a great app to use if you like to. Temp or you're looking for a permanent job but really for temping um i went to their booth they were so kind so nice they i love their decor their app is amazing if you're looking for temping i use them a lot like temp me really be connected me to dentists and that's how i be paying my bills like that ass so temp me gave me one of those like you know sticky phone back things where you could put your uh your debit card in it um this rubber I personally don't use these because I'm the type of person where I will leave my phone somewhere or drop it or whatever and lose my debit card and, and now somebody steal my identity. So no. They gave the IO rinse. Um, if you ever worked for Stage Dental, I worked for them years ago, um, or any company really, they sponsor with IO rinse. IO rinse is a independent company that kind of works with like Listerine kind of like they're in comp competition with Listerine. I don't like this rinse. So this is going in the trash I think it's disgusting personally um, But it does help with perio. They do a lot of studies um, and research that connect that this is effective for perio, but It tastes nasty. I'm just, I'm just not gonna do that um, And it just looks crazy like no, I don't like it <laughs> And I'm a hygienist and I, I just don't like it um, Dynamic Dental Staffing gave me a few of these um, compacts to keep in your bag. I already have compacts, but I was like, okay, sis, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Um, Smile Dentistry also was a sponsor. Smile Design Dentistry is another good. I think out of all the DSOs out there, um, dental companies that are out there, like Coast, Sage, Heartland, um, in Smile Design Dentistry, I feel like Smile Design and, and Heartland, Aspen, um, but Smile Design and Heartland are like the best companies to work for. They're the most chill, relaxed, most laid back company um, to work for that is flexible with your schedule, with your hours and all of that. 
I just don't personally care for working for somebody. But yeah. So they gave me a water bottle. I have enough of these though. So I might just keep one because I have two. Um, I might just keep one. I might just keep one just to um, keep water in for the gym and stuff like that. But it's one of those like metal ones. But yeah. That was that. Um, I got some business cards because you know me. I be networking my butt off. Um, again, another flyer for Dental Post. They're looking for hygienists like desperately. They told me they're looking for hygienists desperately. Um, so definitely go on Dental Post and make a profile. Um, this is what it looks like. Go on Dental Post, make a profile, and be persistent on there. And if you don't have luck with Indeed and stuff like that, get on Dental Post. Um, and then I met an African American hygienist. You know, we got to shout out our minority girlies, our girlies who are black, brown, Asian, Spanish, Latino, like all races but especially our minority people because we need to be counted in this field dentistry needs more of us in this field so um i actually met jody i had a great conversation with her jody hawkins she actually owns a company she's a hygienist she owns a company called ultra sharp dental Um, they are available on Instagram and on Facebook as Ultra Sharp LLC. And she sharpens your instruments for you. So she has a hygiene company, hygiene instrument company, where she picks up or delivers and sharpens and returns your in instruments within days. Um, she says it's affordable and convenient. So she gave me her business card. You will see a clip of me um, hanging out and talking to her at the convention after this clip. And um, I just, I was so glad to meet her, so glad to meet all the people that I met there in that short two to three hour span I was there. And then they just gave like, you know, some readable content and some schedules or whatever. Um, so the RDH sponsors were Brush Pack, like I showed you that um, bamboo toothbrush. Um, IOTech was that rinse. I don't like it, but they probably a cool company, but I personally just don't like the rinse. It's nasty. Um, Procter & Gamble was a sponsor. Crest Oral-B, I did, that's who owns um, Oral-B, Crest. I didn't get to go over to their booth. I should have though, because I do want to get a, a Oral-B toothbrush sponsored, but it's cool. Um, Smile Design Dentistry and Tempt Me were all the sponsors that were there. So, if you were not able to make it to the Florida Dental Association um, convention here in Florida, check out the next convention next year. Check out their website, floridadentalconvention.com, I believe it is. I will tag it here. Um, and then, also, look and see if your state has one coming up or if there's some convention nearby to you because I know that the greater dental meeting is usually in November and it's open to the public. You don't have to be a dental program person or anything like that. Like you can go if you are just interested in seeing dental products and meeting dental people and getting started and involved or whatever, or you wanna get involved in school and you need to shadow somebody, this is a good way to meet someone so you can start shadowing if you have no one in your life that's a dental person. Um, and there was a lot of schools there too that were recruiting for dent dental students like to be a dentist and for hygiene. So definitely look, check that out, look that up. All right, for my RDH bag and um, dental staffing gave me a nail file. Um, and then I had some chocolate, every table had chocolate and I was just like, girl, I'm about to be so fat. Uh, but it was good though. I had got some Kit Kats and stuff. So I got like Kit, Kit Kat wrappers in here. But anyway, um, readable content from Dental Tribune, Tribune today. Um, yeah. Oh, another quick tip I like to say is, before I go, is I like to read through these articles. And then a lot of the articles that are in here will have a hygienist or some type of dental professionals email address and information at the bottom of this like even the editor of the um 
the magazine and if there's a specific question i have about the article or even like i like what they wrote about in their specific occupation their job their title or the career path they took in dentistry and they have their information listed there i'll email them i will email them reach out to them on social media privately and be like hey um i really like how you did this and that my name's Cia. like introduce myself and then i would literally email them and um wait for their reply and try to connect with them and ask them how they got into that that part of the career field or like like what steps did they take and you know sometimes people have responded to me and kind of mentored me on like what they did or whatever or if they answered a question for me they were very kind so that's another way to kind of connect yourself with someone or get some more information it's not about what you know it's about who you know in this field and i feel like any career it's about who you know not what you know you could have a bachelor's a master's a d a dds behind your name a, be a doctor dmd a dentist but if you're not networking and you're not talking to the right people you're not rubbing shoulders with the right people you're not getting cool with the right people you'll be in the dark about what's going on you know so be privy to that it's about networking it's about being nice it's about being kind it's about being humble and um just connecting with the right people and being open to learning no matter how old you are how young you are you have to be open to learning you're always going to be learning even after you graduate even after you've been in the field for five years i'm still learning you're gonna be learning so yeah anyway i'm gonna stop talking i'm either gonna put the the footage of me at the it's not long it's probably like five minutes because my camera died i'll just post on tiktok so if you're not following me there i'll post more on tiktok if you don't like what you saw on youtube um but yeah so i'll see you guys in the next video stay tuned for the content and i thank you so much for helping me get to 100 something subscribers because now they dropped the requirements of 500 subscribers and 3,000 um public views so thank you for those who are here from the beginning from the beginning all right so good luck to you have a good weekend good day good night and i'll see you in the next video bye